Letter to Donald Trump. Yeah. yeah. I'm sorry if this ain't a former letter that you're accustomed to, but clearly it seems that many people have respect for you. I wonder why. Your destructive words are causing pain on us immigrants. You have no idea what it's like to migrate to a new country to get a new opportunity and describe an enslaved mental society. We immigrants came from abusive homes, low economic countries, and warm torn environments. How dare you criticize and hurt our feelings because of our religious belief? We immigrants are heartbroken because of your executive orders on Muslim countries and disrespecting our faith. You need to come listen to the words of an immigrant soul. The hurt and pain we went through to, to have a better life. Maybe if you were to be stripped of your political power and money and walk in the shoes of an immigrant soul, you will understand. Banning and deporting will not stop our fighting spirit. Because of you, we are going to fight until we reach our dying breath. Immigrants will stand as one and we are never going to give up. Let's go, Raid! So my second poem is called Black. Go, <laughs> Raid! How can I articulate this story so that my passion can be felt in this room like God's glory? On April 24, 20 plus decades ago, my mother gave birth to a black revolutionary. It takes a village to raise a child, they say, yet there is still a systematic issue involved in every era. Let me take a sip of my water because I'm about to get raw. Woo! Okay! <laughs> okay! Black are intelligent, black are powerful, black are caring, black are God-fearing, black are innovators, black are revolutionaries, black are descendants of kings and queens. Can't you see that we are unique? This light skin versus dark skin issue need to stop. Men, why can't we love our black queens? Why is there a favoritism in a lighter complexion or a dark skin? Our complexion was created by God like a craftsman building a watch from scratch. Appreciate your complexion because it holds a story full of conviction. Don't feel insecure about your complexion because you are special in God's eyes just like Jesus' resurrection. We should strive for diversity. Please love your dark skin and light skin dearly. We are barely surviving on our own because of black and black crimes. Why are we killing our own kind? Are we blind? Nobody seems to care about these issues. Are you listening to me? Incest sex needs to stop. Have you ever heard of Brenda's got a baby by Tupac? Why are the crooked police killing us? Don't you see we have enough? Intimidation seems to be your side chick, along with your gun being your side bitch. Let's remove those two things and see what you have. Another worthless witch. What power do you have? Remember that the power lies within the people. What you give out, you get back. That's a fact. It is a struggle being black. We should love our black Latvian mix here. It is an evolution of our black kings and queens. I am willing to lose my breath for what I believe in. Are you willing to, to, to lose yours? Stand for something or die in the morning. Mr. Faith is keeping our dreams intact. Angela Bassett still looks like a young lass. That's because black don't crack. I am proud to be black. This revolution will not be televised. Wakanda forever! Woo!